Hey everyone, Terry here again with his Engage layout. Um, I think I said in the last video that this video would be about me building an embankment to go on the layout. Well, I, I've made a start, well, I've finished it actually, and um, I'll show you what I did. I, I used this stuff because this is a lot easier to use, and I did use polystyrene when I first started, and that was a bit of a disaster because it's so messy, but this stuff's a lot easier to use, and lot less mess involved and I used this on the whole of a layout and I was using this to build this embankment. I needed this embankment built because like I said the centre of the layout was very flat and boring and I I wanted to build some interest by, with like, vegetation and embankments because I think I said I got I had some houses on the way well they've actually come um, I'll show you what they are it's these these are like little terrace houses I'm going to call these um, railway workers cottages uh, they come with little walls go around the back and but I won't be using those because I want little gardens because this is supposed to be sort of like um, during the war time or just after the war and everyone had was encouraged to grow their own their own fruit of, uh, not fruit obviously but their own veg and that so I shall be using these houses but without the walls and building little gardens and they also come with dormer windows. Well, I don't really want the dormer windows. It's a bit too modern for my liking. So I shall leave the dormer windows off. I don't know if they're dormer windows in, in that time, I'm sure. But I'll be leaving the dormer windows off. And um, so that I'll be building these. And also I, I had, oh, it's falling on the floor. I had this come, which is a, a little Nissan hut. I really like these. These fit in well with the time period of the layout. Like I said, which is sort of like wartime just after the war and these little Nissan huts were everywhere sort of thing. So I'll probably end up getting a couple more of these and putting them on the layout once I've built this one. Um, I, I was pleased with those. I'm looking forward to getting those or well, that, but I shall get some more. And I've also got this as well, which is a pub. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet, but I'll put it somewhere when I've built it. I'll find somewhere for it because, you know, when I sort of first thought about doing this layout I didn't really have any plan involved I was just I just winged it a little bit because I, I knew I wanted like a country layout country branch line and I wanted mostly countryside and I didn't really think about buildings but you've got to have a few buildings to give it a bit of interest so that's why I've got these kits but um, I'll say hopefully it'll all turn out all right then then the next video will be me jumping in and having a go at building these kits. I mean, I've built a few. I've built the station and the signal boxes. And um, it's fun and games because it's really small bits and half the time I'm bending down picking bits and pieces up off the floor. But obviously you won't see any of that. You just see me doing it perfectly. But it's um, it's fun and games building these, but it's good fun to do because they, they're pretty good kits. They come with good instructions if you follow them properly. And the end result is really good, they turn out really well, so I'm looking forward to doing these. And um, as I say, but this video is me using this stuff to build the embankment. I'll be using, I'll be building some more embankments later on because once I've got the buildings in place, I'll be uh, building that like, scenery around them, so that'll be later on. But I hope you enjoy this little bit of a video, it's just me doing this embankment, and you'll see the process I go through. Um, to put in the vegetation on it and I uh, hope you find it interesting um, if you really do like these videos and you manage to get to the end of each one I really enjoy reading any comments that you put on there because at the very least it means I know that people are actually watching them and um, obviously you know I really do appreciate it and don't forget if you like it just click the thumb and subscribe if you're feeling really really generous because I really do appreciate it. It's good fun to do and hopefully that you find these videos interesting. And uh, thanks for watching and like I say the next one will be me building these little, these the dreaded buildings <laughs> which is fun and games but it would be like a time lapse video of me doing that so I hope, hope you find them interesting anyway so I'll, I'm just waffling on now so I'll Catch up with you soon. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video and uh, see you soon. Thanks a lot and I appreciate you watching and bye.
well that's the embankment finished well sort of finished I'll probably come back and put some more bushes and that on it fiddle about with it a little bit until I'm happy with it but as it is at the moment it's not too bad I've got some more greenery to do over the back of the layout there but I'll probably leave that until I've done the cottages I've got some um, railway workers cottages to build I think I mentioned that in the other video so um, once I've done that I shall do some more greenery but I'll get the cottages done first but it doesn't look too bad I'm pretty pleased with it